Hi folks! Okay, I just wanted to round off the year with a quick glimpse into just a few of the exciting things I've got planned for 2025. Five products I've been itching to show off that I just can't wait until next year to show. I've just been dying to show you all of them. Then there's four big projects that I'm working on at the moment that you might find exciting. And then there's three awesome 3D printed home organizational systems that the Guild and I have been developing in the background that you'll see in 2025. These have been held up entirely by me for reasons that I will cover off. And well, with a shot of something nice for each ding, let's begin. Mm. Ready? Let's dive in. <laughs> Firstly, my little magic water tester. I've been using this for months now, all over the place. Testing the water quality in hotels, bars, restaurants, and probably a few places I shouldn't admit. It's been part of the battery of devices and tools that I've been testing for my body assistant video that I've been developing. For this, I naturally need to build a huge range of data on everything about me, my environment, what I eat and what I drink. So I've been waiting on other devices to gather enough data. But in the meantime, I've been using this all over the place. Oh, and shout out to Cactoily, who have been cool enough to offer a discount code in the description if you want one for yourself. They just tell you everything in less than a second. It detects bacteria, viruses, pesticides, TDS, microplastics, heavy metals and more. It's just a super interesting device to help you understand more about water quality in general. Now, the next product is one that you've experienced the results of without even noticing. It's a brand I'm a bit embarrassed to say I missed before. I mean, they're a listed partner of Home Assistant, and that's Third Reality. I've had Third Reality brines going up and down in this very study for months now, and they're just a perfect smart home device. Absolutely no silliness, perfect integration into Home Assistant, super easy to install, quiet as a mouse, blackout options, and simple standard AA batteries. This is so cool, as I'll be able to integrate everything into my home office when I finish the redesign. I've also got some to install in my ultimate playroom, technically for my kids, and I'm halfway through the build on that. But these are awesome for entertainment spaces as well. In summary, Third Reality are a brilliant little firm if you want flawless integration into any smart home system. Check out the rest of their products too, because they've got loads of cool stuff. Watch out for them in both my Ultimate Playroom and my Home Office Makeover videos. The winner of the most itchy product of the year has been my Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra. I have been absolutely itching to try out resin printing. Now, I know this is an awesome resin printer already, so it's not something I intend to review really. I mean, just go and look up the countless reviews and awards that it's received. But I've picked it deliberately as a leader in ease of use, as it's something I'm planning to get into. I'm really excited about getting familiar with resin printing and opening up a world of super detailed prints that's just way beyond anything FDM printing can achieve. Elegoo sent me this to test several months ago. So why haven't I started using it yet? Well, it's waiting for my new workshop to be finished. And my Patreons and YouTube members will know all about my progress and my plans there. But this will be a whole series of videos next year that'll take all of my organizational and smart home techniques and apply them to creating the ultimate workshop. And the Mars 5 Ultra will take pride of place in my ultimate resin printing zone. Mm. Speaking of precision prints, let's zoom in, literally, with this smart microscope from Andenstar. I've used this in loads of places. Again, 
it's going to live in a dedicated spot in my new workshop. These are handy in so many places for inspecting layer lines up close or looking at sanding or wood grains, any microelectronics work that you're doing, or even just sheer curiosity and coolness, <laughs> like playing around with your children. I love an educational gift or activity. <laughs> These have come a long way in recent years, so you really can get a phenomenal amount for your money. This device connects to any TV or monitor. It has an HD screen, super easy focus, 300 times zoom, and loads more. So you'll see me using this loads in various videos going forward. And finally, zooming out to see the other end of the scale of the universe, from microscopic to cosmic, the Seastar S50. This is a smart device that does nothing for your smart home and life other than fill you with awe. It was recommended to me by several of my Patreons as the leading entry smart telescope. And it's amazing. Therefore, this isn't really something I'm waiting to review either. It's more just that I'm waiting to build up a collection of images that I've captured. My children just get so excited to stay up late on a clear night to look at Saturn or craters on the moon. It's so simple to use, but I'm planning to use the winter in Scotland where we get these freezing cold but ultra clear night skies to capture a whole range. Plus, I finally found an advantage to it getting dark by four o'clock in the Scottish winter. As for the three ecosystems, well, do you want a parametric customizable NeoGrid? Well, you're gonna get it. <laughs> do you want to know how Wonderwall is going to change your entertainment and gaming spaces for good? Well, wait and see. And what about texture prints around your home? Well, you'd better keep watching. We're taking things to the next level in 2025. Oh, and Patreons, YouTube members and Discord gang, we'll start releasing betas for things like NeoGrid 2.0 very soon. So watch out for those over Christmas. Well, I hope you're as excited as I am about the coming year. If so, please let me know what you're most looking forward to. And for those of you who've kept up with drinking those shots, Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Mm. But before you pass out, I just wanted to send you all a huge thank you for so kindly supporting me in my first year of making videos. It's been an absolute pleasure to get to know you all through your thoughtful, entertaining and educational comments and encouragement. And long may that continue because I love being part of this community of lovely, intelligent, and curious people. And I hope you do too. Happy Christmas, and I'll see you next year. <laughs>